Hello everybody, welcome to my first ever Cavers Kingdom video. Today I'm going to be explaining how to play the game and what to do. So first of all, you're going to go up to this receptionist right here, or it doesn't matter which one, but like, go to one of these receptionists and say, hello, I would like a job. Now make sure your rank above you says recruit. This, these people are very nice to me. Um, if your rank says guest, that means you have not joined the group, which means you have to join the group. Once you've joined the group, rejoin, say, slash rejoin, which I'm not going to click enter because that would make me rejoin, and go up one, to one of these receptionists and say, hello, I would like a job. They will check your rank, and they will say, all right, you're all set, and they will teleport you, they will say, they will teleport you to security. Now, once you go to security, you'll be sent all the way over here. This is where security is. Now, once you're here, you're going to go over there and say, hello, I would like to go to the waiting room. Now, the waiting room is just basically a training place. Once they say, okay, I'll be sending you, they will click the button, and they will send you all the way over to here. Now, over here, you will be trained. They will click They will click this button right here, or, and it will send them to, it will send you to a the corridor right here. You will be trained in one of these training rooms right here. Now make sure you take notes because they will be testing you at the end and there's a very high chance of you passing. So after that they will be they will bring you in here and they will ask you to demonstrate what a receptionist do. They will then re reveal your scores and enroll you with the enroller. Then you will say slash rejoin and it will teleport you all the way down to right here. This is the exit room, which will start. Now this over here actually is called award session, which I'll explain in a couple minutes. So you will spawn over here, and what the first thing you want to do is go down this hallway over here, and you will go to this room called supervisor room. You will ask them for a tour, and they will give you a tour around the whole entire castle. Once they are done, say thank you, and go all over here, and this is where you will work as as a receptionist. After you're done work, well, once you are done, at least have 20 minutes, you will go to this called award session, which happens every three hours. And of course, this will be happening very soon. So what award session is, is you will be sent, sent um, you will um, attend this award session right here, which is the, called the Red Award Session. You will kneel against one of these two rugs, unless you have a, something called a Fast Pass Game Pass, which makes you go faster, and will award you as fast as possible. You have to work 20 plus minutes to be able to get three, well, to be able to get an hour worth of XP. And one of our guards, knights, or helpers, or even proxies, will host one of these award sessions. Now, I will explain, I will give a tour to all of you guys of this castle. So, once you are a recruit, you will spawn right here in the exit room. And, like I said before, just do all the steps, like I said. Um, we're going to be starting off the tour over here. <clears throat> so this is the spawn room, where you spawn as a worker. <clears throat> this is the Cavus Kingdom event, which is closed right now because there has to be a helper hosting awards, hosting uh, uh, events. This is the HR support desk, where you can go and ask for any qu ask any questions that HRs might know the answer to. And I guard sit over here, knights, helper, and etc. This is the this is Princess Alaska's bedroom, which if you donate a hundred Robux, you can hold her by asking one of the RHRs after they see your name pop up on the screen up here. <clears throat> this is the library, which I'm pretty sure is where you can get books and you read the books for higher jobs. For example, after you're done with the receptionist book upstairs while you're being trained, you will read this supervisor book after you're done getting 100%. Right here is the AFK room, which we, if you can work. Somebody's spamming the door, happens sometimes. So you will work right here 
you can go AFK for the night, and you can leave your device here for as long as you want, and it'll just keep rejoining you to another server, and won't disconnect you. Receptionist room, exit, and supervisor room. Nothing really interesting. This over here is the Game Pass wall, which you have all the Game Passes that you can buy with Robux. This is where you claim a free speed uh, coil boost, which I have the premium one, which is a uh, Game Pass right here. This is the pri private AFK room, which is also a Game Pass too. Here's the donation board, which has the top donation donation people. <clears throat> and now we are on to the second floor. Actually, we can go to the basement. So once we start here, this is the bunker where fire drills will take place. They will announce it all over, the, over like a message, what is it called, M. And they will say, fire drill starting. And you will, you go down here and sit in one of these seats. It happens usually on Saturdays. This is the big, uh, game pass. This is called the special room for special people game pass, which I cannot show you because that would be wasting, which would be losing money for that. Place. This is the our announcements room, like I said before, and um, it holds award sessions. And you did, you did not see that. You didn't see that. And this says this room is not in use currently. It was the old sh uh, restaurant, but now it, it now it is not. This is the oh, this is the everyone's restroom for um anyone doesn't matter who can go in here. Now we're onto the top floor. So this is the second floor, and we start off with the throne room, which you are not allowed to go in unless Queen gives permission to people. This is the restaurant. This is the new improved restaurant where you can order any food from this selection. They give you food over here and it fills up these this status up here. This is the barista section, which also gives you points for um, getting a drink. And everything at the place is free. Here's a little sneak peek of the throne room. This is the other side of security and training area. Nothing really much, but these rooms. And now we are on to the third floor. This is the third floor, and this is Rankers, which will rank you for getting 100 XP only. So. If, for example, you have zero XP, and you say, can you rank me? Like this girl right here, not saying she did anything. But if you if you say, can you rank me to the next rank? That's called asking for a free rank, which means is uh, against the rules. It will not be tolerated here. This is the advisor's room, which will, as right here, she says, XP check, which is how, many, how long you've been working here. And I've been working for 40 minutes now. This is the quiet room, which is not being currently used, but it will probably be used for future things. It was the old transfer room, which is, I don't exactly know what it was used for, but it was used two years ago. This are, these people, these rooms are not in use except for this one, which is used for the Carvis Kingdom news channel. This button right here, some of the buttons do things like this is on air, off air. Not ex this is to change the color of the room. And these other stuff, I don't really know because I don't pay attention to this room a lot. But yeah, this was not in use before. Now we are on to the second to last floor. This is the HR offices, which are just blank rooms, really nothing interesting in here. And this is the Queen's private quarters, which I'm not allowed to show you guys. But all that is in there is just her bedroom and a bunch of other stuff, like a meeting, private, another private meeting room, which I actually forgot to mention on the last floor, the bottom floor, the second, the third floor. 
This is the top of this is the roof, and if you want a good view of the, ca the castle, here it is. Now this, this is called the jail. This is where everybody gets arrested for many reasons, which do not interact with these people and say, like, why did you do this? Like, that's called harassing people and is not tolerated here. You can get arrested for many reasons, like bullying another, being disrespectful to HRs, or having an accident. But there's many other ways that I cannot say right now because I don't have all 100 at least on the top of my head. Now this over here, I forgot to mention, is called the meeting room, which HRs use every month, once in a while, but proxies, which is a high rank, will host HR meetings in here, only for HRs. Now, now that I explained every single thing, I'm going to be explaining the tools and what to use them for. So first of all, this is the speed coil, which makes you go very, very fast. The other one right here is not a game pass, like I said. You can get this for free. You already own one. And this is the no clip tool, which makes you no clip through walls. This is a um, attacking tool or weapon that is used for a couple things. This is the calls tool. So, for example, if you say call, it will call one of our HRs, which it says high rank. And for any reason that's appropriate for that, like for example, if somebody's AFK on the job or sleeping, that would be a perfect reason like this. It would show up here. This is another weapon that you would use for some reasons, like fighting somebody, or not for fighting, but if you become an uh, HR, I would recommend not using this against other people unless there's an actual reason. This is the portable toilet. That is another game pass right here. Yes, do not abuse this against other people. This is the door lock, for example. You can lock doors. I'll lock this. Here's how it works. Which means only HRs can unlock and lock it. This is the enroller, which enrolls all recruits only. So if your receptionist wants to rank up, they have to ask rankers, and this will not work against it. And it ranks re uh, recruits to receptionists. This cannot be used, or else it will be called getting free enrolls. This is the AFK room sender for guards, and it will send you to the AFK room over here. This is the corridor sender for trainers, and they will send you to the corridor, like I said earlier, I think. The trainer's handbook and other books that you can get from here only if you're the rank. So that's pretty much all I have to say about a tour and all the things you need to know. But there will be more videos in the future about how to play the game and what all the ranks do. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next Carol's Kingdom video on my channel. See you guys.